What's up, guys? It's Rester here, and today we're going to be playing, uh, not playing anything, actually. We're going to be doing a tier list of every plant in Planter for Zombies 2, besides Blast Spinner, because this one hasn't been updated yet. But we do have everyone. And, yeah, here we go. We're starting off with Peach Shooter. Peach Shooter is a... Eh, it's just a... It's, a eh, it's not a very... It's very good when it comes to Peavine and Torchwood, so I'm going to put it here. In B tier. Sunflower is a great plant overall, but when you get to the when you get to Jurassic Marsh, it gets outclassed by its primal form, so we're gonna put it there. Uh, walnut. Walnut is a pretty good plant for most of the early stages, but it gets outclassed by its other counterparts, such as tall nut and primal walnut. So, we're gonna put it here, as well. Here we got potato mine. Potato mine is a pr uh, pretty good plant in early stages, but gets destroyed when it comes to other instas such as cherry bomb primal potato and chili bean so we're gonna put it in c for now and then here we got cabbage pull it's okay but when it levels up this thing is insane so and plus armament and plus uh coconut cannon it's a great thing i don't understand why people don't like it Bloomerang is not good. Actually, we're going to put an F tier here just in case we need to do it. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not very... I've never used this in my entire... In any of my playthroughs, so I have to put it in D. It's not good at all. Iceberg Lettuce is an instant A because it's, it has a great plant food power. And it's just good in general. And it's free. It's a pretty good investment, too. Grave Buster is going to be put here just because it doesn't have as many uses as it should. Because there's not graves in every single world, so it's only really used in Dark Ages, Pinata Parties, sometimes uh, Modern Day, and Ancient Egypt. So we're going to put it there for now. We're going to go until we get to uh, Fat Beat, and then that's going to be the second part. So here we got Bonk Troy. This thing is amazing for early game, and even in late game, it's good. Powered with enforcement, that thing is crazy. So here we got Re Repeater. It's good, but it's not the best, so we're going to put it there. Twin Sunflower is good too, but it should be 100 sun. But when you level it up, it's good, so we're going to put it here. Kernel Pull is really good, but... It's also a B tier because of its uh, weak damage. Snapdragon has a great plant food, so it's going to go there just because of that. Spikeweed can't really be used very much, but it's okay. Spring Bean is useless pretty much for most of the worlds, and you barely even need to use it in Pirate Seas. But yeah, F tier. Coconut Cannon is also B tier due to the sun cost, and I rarely use this thing only for like achievements which i already completed so it's going to be b tier but it's great for defeating gargs and stuff three peter is also going to be put here because it's good but it's not the best okay spike rock is a tier due to it can being it can survive three lethal hits so and it does decent damage so it's obviously eight here it's good for stalling gargs but it's kind of expensive when you can just use primal walnut here we have cherry bomb this is obviously an a tier because it can clear out a ton of zombies at once and it's great for pretty much the whole adventure every adventure stage you can use it and you'll be good split pea is going to be at c tier because it has a great plant food, but it's it can't be used in many stages, so that's where it falls off. We got chili bean. It's pretty good, but it has sluggish recharge, I think, so that's why it's going to be in B tier. Pea pod. It's not worth spending so much sun on a f uh, quintuple pea pod. Because it's just not worth it. So it's going to be seed here. Lightning Reed is good for some of the last stand ones. Last stand levels. But it has very terrible damage. 
and it's only really good for countering chickens and last stand levels. So, yeah, that's why it's going to be put in C tier. Melon pull is going to be in B tier because winter melon is just better. And we're not basing this off of how much I like the plant. It's based on its usefulness. Uh, walnut is going to, I mean, talnut is going to go in uh, B tier as well because its plant food is really good. And it's pretty, it's nice. It's nice. It just has terrible recharge. Uh, winter melon is also going to be put in B tier due to the sun cost being horrible at 500 at level 1. But it slowly goes down, so otherwise it would be in C tier. But winter melon is a better choice. Hot potato is going to be put at D tier. It can melt octopus or octopi. It can melt them, so that's why it's not at F tier. And it's only be really usable in two worlds, so it's not the best thing ever. Pepper pulp is also going to be put at D tier due to its horrible recharge. But actually, it's going to be at C tier because it has horrible recharge. Otherwise, it would be at B. Chard guard is going to be at A because it does it. It's very good for stalling. And it's actually it has pretty good uh, HP. And that's why it's good. And you could recharge the whole thing. Aloe. Aloe comboed with that is amazing. Then it's pretty much invincible unless a guard comes. Stunning is going to be put in B tier. It's good, but it's not. It's it's. There's other better. Op there's better options. Rotabaga is going to be put here because it's. There's no point of using it anywhere. So yeah. So, here we got red stinger. Uh, this is pretty good somewhat, but I don't ever use this because of its uh, damage output, so it's going to be bad. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here because this video is going to be too long. I'm going to make a part two in a couple minutes, and yeah, see you.